Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to discuss how long wires need to be in boxes according to the 2023 NEC code. Now, I have recently seen a video from another YouTube channel where they said that these wires had to be 8 inches long. And I saw another uh, YouTube channel say these wires have to extend six inches beyond the edge of this box and a third one they said they have to be both eight inches long and extend six inches from the edge of this box so i guess the fourth uh choice would be none of the above so what do you think there's a little quiz and right now we're gonna go to the 2023 nec code here we are at NEC 2023, 300.14, length of free conductors at outlets, junctions, and switch points. And look down here, we have a shaded area. That means, if you look down at the bottom of the page, that means new material right here. So let's go over this. At least 150 millimeters, that's six inches of free conductor, measured from the point in the box where it emerges from its raceway or cable sheath shall be left at each outlet junction and switch point for splices or the connection of luminaries or devices this is the new part for 2023 the 150 millimeters six inches free conductor shall be permitted to be spliced or unspliced where the opening to an outlet junction or switch point is less than 200 millimeters that's eight inches in any dimension each conductor shall be long enough to extend at least 75 millimeters that's three inches outside the opening exception conductors that are not spliced or terminated at the outlet junction or switch point shall not be required to comply with 300.14 let's take a look at it and then we're going to go back to the code now here's what it was talking about the sheath extending into the box so right here is where you start measuring from uh, but first let's go over this code real quick you just be a second we'll be right back here we are at 2023 NEC 314.17B2. Cables entering through cable clamps. And this is a change here. They use the word cables instead of the word conductors. So that's just a little change there. It says cables entering through cable clamps. Where cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths. Okay, this was a spelling correction right here. So, where cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths are used, the sheath shall extend not less than 6 millimeters, that's a quarter of an inch, inside the box, and 6 millimeters, one quarter of an inch, beyond the end of any cable clamp. This change right here was just to make real sure that you know that they're talking about the end of the cable clamp, not the end of the inside of the box, except as covered the word covered is used in 2023 as opposed to the word provided in 2020. In 300.15c, the wiring method shall be secured to the box or conduit body. So you start your measuring of the wires from right here. And this can be just a quarter of an inch or it can be uh, like I have it here, five eighths of an inch. And so I would start right here and then this has to be six inches this happens to be a little over eight inches in length so it's got plenty of length and the other specification is that this wire has to extend at least three inches beyond the edge of the box provided this box isn't uh, greater than eight inches from any dimension and what i read at to be is uh, you go from this corner to this corner and this is a 4x4 four four box, so this dimension is going to be 5.66 inches from here to here. So it's under the 
eight inches from any dimension so it's a small enough box and it has to reach at least three inches beyond the edge of this box which it does easily so there's your code it starts from uh, the edge of the sheathing and it's got to be six inches and it's got to also this way I read it it's got to do both it's got to exceed three inches from the edge of this box here we have wire emerging from a raceway right here so we would start our measurement right here where it emerges from the raceway which in this case is EMT conduit we have one exception listed it says conductors that are not spliced or terminated at the outlet junction or switch point shall not be required to comply with 300 point one four here's an example now let's go back to our quiz eight inches long no B six inches beyond the edge of the box no C both A and B no and D none of the above that is correct I hope you got that correct, and I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.